Let's take a look at the fast playing card game, Ratuki. First <laughs> off, thanks for tossing this game in with some review copies we had require we we had acquired. We weren't expecting this one, and we appreciate it. Yep, thanks the op. All right, Ratuki was created by Greg Zima. Now, this is a card game for two to five players. It's a lightning quick game with each round lasting maybe five minutes and a full game taking well under half an hour. Now, this was originally published by Schmidt Spiel in 2009. Since then, there have been editions from Hasbro, Magellan, and more. The most recent edition, the one I'm reviewing tonight, is from The Op, or USAopoly. For a look at what you get in this co in a copy of this small box game, check out our Ratuki unboxing video on YouTube. So basically what you have here is a box of cards split over five identical decks, each in a different color, with the decks containing cards going from one to five, represented in a bunch of different ways. There's numerals, tick marks, the words for the numbers, a hand holding up a number of fingers, and pips on the side of a six-sided die. There's also a set of instructions and five reference cards. Certainly straightforward enough, though I can see how the varied types of numbering are just enough to slow <laughs> down players compared to just having all one type of numbers. Now, to start a game of Ratuki, it's dead simple. There's almost no setup. You just take one of the five decks, shuffle it, and draw three cards. Someone shouts Ratuki, and the game starts. Now, all players play simultaneously. You're going to play one card from your one hand to the table using your other hand. And that's actually important how you're holding the cards. Cards played must be played into stacks on the table with the maximum number of stacks being the number of players playing. To start a stack, you start with a Ratuki card, which each deck has two, or a one. Each card played after that has to be either one higher or one lower than the card on the top of a stack. When a player plays a five to the top of a stack, they say Ratuki and take that entire pile of cards and place them in their scoring area. In addition, players can also play a Ratuki card on the top of any stack, say Ratuki and claim that stack. Finally, if a player can't play any of the cards in their hand, they have the option to discard that card to their trash pile. Then they immediately draw one more card. When they run out of cards in the draw deck, they just flip over their trash pile and it becomes a new draw deck. The round ends when one player plays their last card or when it's clear no one can play any more cards because of the piles currently in play. At the end of each round, players get points. This is pretty simple. One for one for every card in your scoring pile, minus any cards you have left. Game ends when a player surpasses 100 points with the player with the most points winning. Now, there are some simple rules that have to be followed while doing this. That's the, the really basic part. One of the things is you can't play cards with both hands. One card has to hold your cards and the other has to play them. You can only play one card at a time, and after it's played, you have to draw a new one. So don't go and bang, bang, bang. You got to go bang and draw and put it in your hand and bang and draw and put it in your hand. You can only have a number of center stacks equal to the number of players. And if two players try to play the same on the same stack at exactly the same time, both players are actually penalized for competing for it and have to trash those two cards. So unless I'm missing something here, there is an aspect of pure speed to mm -hmm. this. Uh, if you can mentally and physically play faster than your opponents, you have the advantage. It is definitely all about speed. Whether, whether that's speed of thought or speed of moving your hands, it is definitely. This is closest to games like Spoons. Now, for me checking out this game, right from looking at the box, I knew this was going to be one of those super quick, simple to learn games that's going to be good for a light game night. Probably great for playing non with non-gamers and possibly great for a game night with adult beverages. And I got to say, Ratuki is definitely all of these. This is one of those games where you can be up and playing in minutes. The rules are extremely simple to teach and understand, though I do recommend at least the first time you play with someone, do a quick, simple round before you start keeping track of score, just to make sure everyone has the full concept. Uh, those little rules about only using one hand, always making sure you draw, and reminders about the ties are also useful to make sure everyone's got those. Now, the other problem, though, is there's also potential confusion with the rules in this particular version of Ratuki from the op, because the rules seem to be missing the section on how to end a round. Now, while it should be obvious that you stop when someone's out of cards or when you can't play anymore, that's not actually stated anywhere. Plus, you don't know if it's when everyone runs out of cards or if it's when one person runs out of cards, where the proper rule is when one person runs out of cards, you stop. Yeah, indeed. I managed to find a copy of the Hasbro rule print sheet that, yeah. while similar, had additional rule, an additional rule, one specific additional line that was missing from the op version. 
Yeah, I think this is an actually an errata. This is, a, I think they meant to include it in there. But again, you're going to figure it out. Like you're going to get to the end of the first round and go, well, I guess we stop now. It wasn't over. It wasn't game breaking in any way. Now, besides that small rulebook omission, I didn't find anything really to dislike about Ratuki. It's a simple, fast playing card game that worked great with um, all adults and with one of my kids. Uh, sadly, the youngest wasn't interested in trying. My extended family loves it. It's one of those super fast, furious, fun with just enough thinking to make it interesting. Where it's not, you know, fifty-two card pickup or war. There's, there's definitely some thought required. Yeah, I can definitely see my kids enjoying this one. It's the same sort of game like Uno and others that are the right level of competitive, but you've also got that speed factor. So mm -hmm. it's not just round the table. You know, you've got to keep thinking fast. Overall, I think this is a great gateway game. Uh, this is perfect for introducing people who dig card games in general uh, to more hobby games. I also think this is a good one for non-gamers this is so simple to pick up this is the kind of thing you can get your parents playing get grandma to well depends how quick grandma is um bring it out to a, a pub or something like that and get going it's fast furious quite fun um what i like this one for is building the energy level i like to start with this like you get this going and everyone you know your heart's pumping you're trying to play things quick and be that and it gets people starting to interact i think it's a great first step first game of the night I even think hardcore gamers are going to enjoy this one again as a starter to get things ramped up, to get people energized, but also as a filler to take up time between games or to relax your brain a bit before moving on to heavier games. Overall, uh, as a family, we've had quite a bit of fun with Ratuki. I think it's a great choice if you're looking for, you know, a nice, quick, light, easy to play card game that's very accessible to gamers of all experience levels. Plus, it does have the advantage of playing up to five, which is a little higher than your standard card game. Well, for a slightly more in-depth look at Ratuki, you can head over to tabletopbellhop.com and click on Reviews.